Strange Things in Strangerville, Chapter 3. The investigation begins. She has to find someone in the military to give her an infection scanner. She attempts to try and convince Sergeant Thomas Madden to give her the infection scanner. There wasn't any luck. He decided to leave the bar and go home. She then walked along the street and met Sergeant Major Lyle Breen. Bonnie locks eyes on her target and she will try her hardest to impress him. So she decided to do push-up sets and of course he wasn't that impressed. So, she has to resort to the last chance to save the town. She must seduce the sergeant major. So, she spends the day trying to wear him down by flirting. She finally gets him to where she wants him and lays one on him. The next morning is Harvest Fest. She wakes up from her tent. She tries to appease the gnomes. Of course, she is faced with the wrath of the simple garden gnome. So, she gets struck by lightning. Shocking, right? She stays to say that the day didn't start out great. She spends the day tending to her personal needs, sleeping and eating. She then goes to the bar for a quick bathroom break and brushes her teeth and then heads to the town to explore. In doing so, she becomes very stinky as the day is hot. Late that evening, she finds herself wandering around the town, spots an unusual plant. She then nurtures it and it blossoms into a unique flower or tree. It has a mysterious green grass spewing from it, which is strange to see and it baffles Bonnie. Bonnie then makes her way to the blank lab and heads to the basement. It is filled with bluish spore-like substance that Bonnie has to figure out before the town is lost forever. You can't breathe the air without passing out, so Bonnie has to collect the spore samples around the area in order to test the said samples on the machine in the windowed room. She tested the samples, came back with the infection profile data, DNA, which is foreign to her and beyond her knowledge. So she then goes to the town library and does the research. She was minding her business until she saw a person in the library wearing a white lab coat. She has inside knowledge from Lyle, the sergeant major, that those lab coats mean they are scientists. She introduces herself to this dead scientist named Reese Ranches. She then explains what she's doing and explains that the governor enlisted her to do this discreetly. So she inquired her help in figuring out the data and which she found from collecting the spores and testing it in the blank lab. Reese decided to pitch in and crafted Bonnie a breathing filter. However, it is useless without a part. She then pointed in the direction of a place that might have a part that she is missing. Reese mentions a place that Bonnie is also familiar with. The Courier Shop. Taking a break from all the seriousness in Strangerville, Bonnie sets out to relax in San Mycino. She goes to the Spice Festival. She unwinds with a little bubble blower. She might have taken the wrong flavor as it puts her to sleep. Whoops. She begins to taste all different kinds of foods in the process. She meets Alex Moyer. Bonnie's first impression of Alex is that she finds her immature, whereas Alex finds Bonnie to be clingy. Before leaving the Spice Festival, Bonnie gets told she won an eating contest, curry eating contest, and now deemed champion. Since she is the champion, they give a free t-shirt. She then decides to go home and call it a night. The next day, she sets for the courier shop. She sees the owner and mentions the spores and the infection profile data. To which he replies that he might have something of use and mentioned that he has a hazmat suit, but it's useless without a breeze a breathing filter. So, Bonnie scrapes up pennies and sells things to be able to purchase a thousand dollar hazmat suit. This leaves her with five dollars to her name. Bonnie then combines the hazmat suit with the breathing filter. Afterwards, Bonnie tries on the hazmat suit and ready to take on the hidden basement. But was it worth all her hard-earned money? What is really hiding in this blank lab? And why is the military so hush-hush about it? Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimmy. If you're new here, if you're seeing this, you just seen the intro for this particular episode. If you guys are confused, every episode has a little intro to it of the story that's written on Watchpad. If you don't know what that is, it's down in the description below has the Watchpad link. You can go read it that way. But basically, every episode will match the chapter episode 
And right now we have the first episode is like the prologue slash chapter one. The second episode is chapter two. And the third episode is chapter three. And then the next episode is chapter four. And the way we make these stories is we based it off of the chapter before. So example, this is chapter three in the beginning, but it's based off of chapter two stuff that we've been doing, the errands we do. So whatever we do in this episode will be chapter four. And then we go and do some errands in that video for chapter five and so forth. But hopefully I explained that clearly enough. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'll try to explain it better. If you didn't miss last episode, I did briefly summarize it with the intro. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like a summarization of what we did the episode before for our chapter. So this is chapter four. And I did want to go do the deepest part of the secret lab. Get that part done. And then I was thinking, I don't want to finish this Stranger Real series so quickly. So I was thinking maybe we can have some parties and meet some people, you know, get out of night out of town, just do some things. Maybe get her to focus down where she wants to get a house and put roots down before she goes to continue on or something, you know, just to give her more roots than just living in a tent for 20 episodes, you know? So let's do that. Let's have her put on her hazmat suit. I think I have to click it inside the, yeah, her hazmat suit. Perfect. Here's her hazmat suit. Let's go have a stand right here. I'm going to get a picture of her in this. Looks like she is ready to take on the world, y'all. She is ready. All right. So let's have her go and use this key card to see what is going on. Just going to follow her down into this lovely area. I'm trying to do more of like following them on first speed because I tend to go real fast because I have no patience. I'm going to be real with you guys. I got no patience. <laughs> so I tend to just follow them on like super speed. Plus I get more content for you guys if I fast forward today. So we're just going to follow her into this mess of a place. This looks really creepy. She's going to go open the door. All right, let's see what she noticed. She now sees this particular thing. Let's go here, please. I want to get a picture of this. It's going to be really stupid, but I really want a picture. She looks like one of the selfie queen people. You know, like the kids that take the selfies at the worst inconvenient times? Like, you would not think they would do that, but... Wow, child. She did. She did it, though. Woo! <laughs> scared me. I won't even lie. I jumped. <laughs> Dang, child. Alright, let's just have her communicate with this the best that she can. Yatta. Did it work? I don't think it did, but... Alright, I guess it's not going to communicate. Alright, so our next step is to vaccinate three sims, recruit three sims to help stop the source, and defeat the source of the infection. But... As I stated, I don't want to jump straight into this after doing all that. So we will take a break from this particular thing and we will just, and we will fight that some other day. <laughs> all right. You discover the source of the plaguing, the source of the infection plaguing Strangerville, an enormous mother plant buried in the base of the lab. The only thing that, to get the town back to normal is to defeat the vile creature. Find the cure of the infection and assemble a team to destroy mother plant. But yeah, that is what she's doing currently. We have no money and I really want to get her some money. So I got to figure out some way for her to make some money. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Thank you for shopping at Curious Creation and more. No one ever asks what the more is. But anywho, enjoy your new items. <laughs> I don't want to know what the more is either. So I'm okay with that. I want to plant these and hopefully they will do us some good. I don't want her to eat them. Whatever she does, please don't eat them. <laughs> she likes the garden. Yes, that works. That's great. Maybe we can switch her aspiration for now. 
this is her main goal was to complete this but maybe we can give her something else to do while we were waiting we could do something like this because she is a spellcaster so maybe do that Ooh, flea market that we have no money for but let's go there we will go there and we can invite lyle breen holy moly look at all these people i've never seen so many people in one spot wow it's like the whole clan comes why and one thing i never understood is why does malcolm landgrab have like a yellowy hair when his parents don't so a little weird and johnny just don't have it either so i don't know why he has it i think we should go get her some food <laughs> I want to have at least $5,000 to make her a little house. She just gave up on that. I don't blame her. So, that is what we're going to have to do. Some good money in these, so. Just that, two fifty. dollars Boom. We need money, so I'm okay with that. Alright, so what can we do here? <laughs> that face. <laughs> Definitely erotic, yep. Maybe... She can make a friend. That would be fun. Let's do a duet with Penny. Sure. All right. So let's listen to some singing, shall we? Bonnie makes a friend. I tried to get her some drinks and whatnot, and someone stole the drink, and her and Penny are had to some kind of relationship thing. She finds Penny to be pretentious and really dislikes her. She's really angry from that. Don't know why, but... And Penny's the only one that likes her, so she can't be so choosy, you know? So right now, we're going to watch her and participate in the karaoke contest, and let's see how she does, shall we? Let's go here, Kira. He's getting it though, ain't he? Get it, bro. Get it. We we participated. Don't mean we're probably not gonna win, but at least she had fun. You know, she had fun. The results are in, and Miko won the contest with a score of 81. Better luck next time. Come back Sunday, Tuesdays, or Thursday nights at 8 p.m. for the next contest. That's great to know. So, we sat here waiting for nothing. <laughs> Let's get another one of our pita chips. Make sure we're full. Who are we chatting with? We're chatting with Alex, Emil, and Eren. Hmm. Cool. So let's just head on out somewhere and see if we can cause some drama in the magic realm. She transported herself here to the magic realm into this, this area, which is a forest, because she doesn't want people to know that she's here. Because remember, she is wanted in Glimmerbrook. Right now, she's trying to go visit the magic realm where she's not wanted. 54 dollars jeez how have we been paying all we got is a tent in a mailbox okay i lied we do have a a pea bush and we do have a shower and a light <laughs> not much so we are going to go up in here she should already be a spellcaster but i don't know why she doesn't have that stone to glimmer book thing which is annoying did she she knows magic already so let's do an enthusiastic introduction to daryl charm now, who teaches the practical? Untamed. Can't remember which one teaches the practical magic. I think it's this one. Yeah. I think she's more into practical magic. So, we're going to make an enthusiastic introduction to Simeon. And she's meeting with him because she wants to learn more practical magic. Let's go to get to know each other first. Then I'll decide if you're worthy. Well, I guess that's true. We don't really know each other. I, I can understand that. I want to give her a witchy outfit. Is that weird? A costumey outfit? <laughs> Alright, so I have a few options. I have this basic outfit that came with Realm of Magic. This is her formal day. This is my favorite one. I like how simple it looks, but it also looks really good. I want to give her a tattoo as well. I've been thinking about it, and I've been wanting to give her one. No, it doesn't do no tattoos for now. 
if you guys want to suggest a tattoo kind of style to give her, like, why I should give her a certain tattoo, so let me know in the comments below. But right now, I'm going to leave her with no tattoos until I figure out which one I want to give her. I do want a tattoo. I know that. I just don't know what to give her yet. But this is going to be her outfit for now. This is her outfit. I wanted the little streamer, but I can't find it anywhere. So I added a little bit of red in her hair because I think she would like the red. All right. So let's put her in her witchy outfit that I made for her. So formal. It's our last one that I like the most. And we'll let her experiment. You know what she reminds me of? I don't remember what they're called. Do you remember the sisters from that one Scooby-Doo movie? They were a rock band. They're kind of like goth punk related. I don't, can't remember the name of them to save my life. There's like three of them. Like the Hex sisters or something. And that's what she reminds me of. She reminds me of one of those girls. It's so cool. And we're just going to let her do some experimenting for like two seconds. Untamed magic. Well, technically, I think she should be good at all three. Because she took her father's magic, which is dark, and took her mama's magic, well, her father's magic, which is fire, and her mom's magic, which is dark. So you'd think that she'd be good with all magic, because she's also not like a white lighter, but she's a good person. Let's go and take her home. Let's have her go to bed. All right, so let's have her eat some of this extra food stuff that we have. It's probably no good at all. But that's fine, because I just need you to eat something. You'll be alright, I promise. Alright, and then for fun, I don't have nothing. Right now, we got our plants growing in our yard. Let's invite over Lyle. Ask if he wants children. I would like having children. And he's single, so he likes kids. He likes the color purple. Let's see what we can do. Let's go and I'm trying to find some drama for the, this Let's Play, but there's really not much to do for drama-wise, so. Maybe we can just go around town and start collecting some stuff. Alright, so let's go over here. Who are you chatting with? Why does it look like there was two of them for a second? I literally thought there was two of them. He looked like a secret agent. Dabish, he literally looks like a secret agent. Look at him. Enthusiastic introduction. Like, who are you and why are you yelling at Lyle? Let's ask about his career. I'm very curious at what he does. He just walked up and started yelling. Uh, he redacted at the bureau. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. I wonder what happens if I discuss the stranger role investigation with him. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh-oh. I'm definitely gonna be like... Follow him around. He, he's a little shady. He's a shady individual for sure. So let's know three spells. Cast a spell on another sim. Who is this? Another one? Okay, right, I cast a spell on another sim. Know three different spells. Search by tone, practice on your own, or seek out a training sages. Okay, I guess we can practice. Some, uh, open spell book. Do I know anything? So close. She finally did it. All right. Now I can be able to get something else. Let's see. A spirit. Sims can now always see magical moats. Collect them. Moats can be consumed for experience and minor random motive boots. Spellcasters socialize a lot. Magical social interactions with other spellcasters that provide spellcaster XP. Your prowess in magical art is gaining recognition. A magical care package is sent to every accolade. Containing some everyday essentials for up-and-coming spellcasters. So that's great. Is it there now? Probably not. Yeah. Bills, we got $46. Not too bad. And we're gonna go to bed so we can work on getting this, uh, package. Would you challenge me at the- oh, okay. We're gonna go to a duel. We've been requested to go, so why not? I think we will fail this duel, but sure, we'll go. Duel for artifacts, heated duel, friendly duel, duel for knowledge. Learn some spells. Ooh, I could do this too. I can do the knowledge. Uh, this gonna be fun. That is kind of like a really cool picture, too. I like how they give you like a better. <laughs> Dang, girl. Come on, great thumbnail here. There's like a light within her. 
Death. I think it's like her protection spell. Maybe he ends up being a friend, teaching her how to deal with this. Showing her how to handle her good and her bad side. We lost. Oh, no, 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 come back here. Reset. Let's chat with him. Is he giving you training though? I don't know if he is. He's not really like talking to you or nothing. Be trained. I'm being trained, but he's over there. So let's make no sense. I guess if you use magic too much, this goes up. I think that's what that is. I'm not sure. I'm not at all sure. Practice magic. Let's uh, do a scrubber. We want to Let's do. Magic duel? Another one? Apparently he wants to duel me again and we literally didn't ask, so I guess it's fine. She protects herself though. Oof. Oof. Dang, girl. Hit your butt whooped again, didn't you? Overcharge. Magic is even more powerful. Success chance is moderately increased. Curse can't increase. I don't know what that means, though. I really don't. So she's going to stargaze with Daryl. I think that's where we need to end this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this episode. So what do you think about the fact that we had basically the FBI came and yelled at Lyle, like yelled at him. And I find that to be crazy, you know? So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And what do you think about Bonnie's witch outfit with her hair dye and everything else? And what do you think we should do for her tattoos? Should we get like a little small little tattoo of something? And if so, what should we get it of that, that's meaningful, of course, to her? What do you think about just having a couple episodes where we get to do things with Bonnie, maybe make friends, make a lover, go around town, go to different places, travel the world? You know, I don't want it to be solely focused on StrangerVille, but I do want the majority of the area to be StrangerVille, you know? But I think it's a pretty good episode. I do like the fact that she got the challenge daryl charm and lost twice leave a comment down below your favorite part of this episode and let me know if you guys actually read the series on the watch pad or not if you don't that's cool if you do let me know what you guys think about it bye